From different cities in the United States of America, the 2019 Kenya Relief Team 2 embarked on a journey to Africa. The destination was Migori, the southwest of Kenya. Doctors, anesthetists, and nurses volunteered not leaving behind some of their loved ones to experience a mission that will leave a legacy of hope. People from different walks of life across Kenya and a few from the neighboring Tanzania made their way to the Brazi Clinic in Migori. Some of those improve on their own, some of them don't. For them, this was an end to a struggle they have had with their health. The doctors were able to see dozens of patients with various conditions as each narrated their ordeal. Now, this gentleman is a 38-year-old gentleman who had a, a mass that extended down into his scrotum and that mass was related to a hernia and in his case we had to separate the lining of his abdominal cavity uh, from the uh, blood supply to the scrotum and then put it back in the abdomen and then put a patch. Uh, it's a regular general surgery uh, operation done on millions of people and we use mesh to decrease the probability of recurrence. Within a span of three days, over 80 surgeries were performed. Some of the cases were goiters, hernias, lipomas, fibrous dysplasia, among others. The doctors meticulously removed the masses, anesthetists put the patients to sleep, and the nurses cared for the patients in the post-anesthesia care unit. The Kenya Relief Team 2 was a unique team due to its composition. The team included Kenyan-born American medical practitioners. In 2018, I, in January, I came to Kenya Relief with Team 2 and I was very excited to be here. Um, I was amazed by how much um, Steve James had done to help our people and I came back all fired up to recruit other Kenyans like me who live in America. Lawrence is from Kenya. So she told me about it. I told her, well, you know, I gotta have a little more time to be able to come. Well, she did not disappoint. It is very rewarding. I love the people. I, honestly, I haven't met a Kenyan yet that wasn't sweet and just so thankful and grateful. This is my first medical mission in uh, Kenya or anywhere else. I'm originally from Kenya, PC. After being here, working and seeing the place, seeing the people, there is tremendous need. There is need for volunteer, there is need for donation, and uh, Kenya Relief is doing an amazing job. These Kenyan-American individuals felt a great sense of pride giving back to their own community. When the Kenya Relief mission was announced, all the team members were eager, excited, and looked forward to travel to Kenya. Obviously, I was very excited to be coming to Migori, uh, in Kenya in general, to see how I could give back. It has been a really inspiring trip for me. Uh, there's such a great need, uh, but at the same time, uh, the people are just wonderful. The patients and their loved ones were filled with gratitude. They were overwhelmed with the emotion and continuously thanked the medical team. And these people are just so happy and grateful that we're here and we're able to help them with the skills that we have. Um, they really appreciate everything we do. Um, they have such a big smile, they're always so faithful and uh, just amazing people. This is my fourth time uh, with Kenya Relief and each time I have uh, more and more 
We were not just born to live, have children, spend money and die. We have a purpose, we have a mission, and if anything, we have our home, Kenya, and our people that need us. We thank God for this opportunity to serve this community of Migori, and uh, we also serve people beyond Migori in uh, various capacities. We believe that God has placed us here to serve the entire country and people from beyond our borders. Kenya Relief, leaving a legacy of hope.